Hey everybody, this is Martin Moreau. Just wanted to say hello, and I hope everybody's doing great at home. So I've been uh, at Aikido for over 25 years, teaching mostly kids classes. So I'm gonna be doing a video series now that is really geared towards kids, especially my students. I've got kids aged five to about 18 years old in child, youth, junior teen and senior teen classes. So a special hello to you if you're watching and also to the parents and the siblings. This is something you might want to get involved with as well so that you can get some exercise with your family during these uh, difficult times with the pandemic, the COVID-19 that's going on right now. So we're gonna work on Joe today. We're gonna to go through some basics of the Joe and there's gonna be additional videos coming on and as well, we're gonna do some Boken tutorials as well. So I hope you're in for a good time and I hope you're ready to have some exercise. So first thing, you gotta find a place that's outdoors with a lot of room around you. So here, I've got a perfect amount of space here in this little uh, nook in my backyard. So I can work out here and swing the jaw around without worrying about hitting anybody. The other thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to have a Joe or something like a Joe. I have an actual uh, Aiki Joe right here. This for me, is a little bit short actually. Usually you want one that fits underneath your armpit. This one's a little short. I do have a longer one, but this is one of my favorite ones to use. So you have a few options. One, you go into your garage, you find an old broom or some kind of a tool, a rake. Make sure you ask your parents first. Find one that maybe isn't any good anymore and you can cut off the end of the rake or the broom or whatever. Make sure that you sand the top of the joe, especially the edges a little bit and make sure that everything else is smooth and splinter free. Secondly, uh, you might just wanna buy one. And if you do wanna buy one, I can get some for you. Uh, I can order them in, so just email me, send me a message or something, let me know that you want to buy one and I'll help you out. Okay, so let's get going. The first thing we need to talk about is how to carry the Joe around in a respectful martial way. First, you can walk around with the Joe like this, straight up and down in front of you, or you can carry it like this. Either way, last thing you wanna do is walk around with the Joe or have it sticking out so that when you're moving around, you're bumping into people or things. It's just respectful. So this way or that way, I like to hold it in my right hand. I'm not gonna to be too worried about where you hold it left or right for now with the Joe. It'll matter a little bit more with the Boken, the wooden sword, when we get to that in a later episode. So once you get started, you've got your Joe. You're gonna put it in both your hands in the webbing here of the hands, and you're gonna hold it at eye level, and you're gonna to bow to the Joe, keeping it at eye level. Now you're ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is a few little exercises to get warmed up with the Joe and with our wrists. So, Grab the Joe at both ends, one palm up, one palm down. You're gonna slide your hands in like a sandwich. You're gonna turn the sandwich over and then you're gonna slide to the ends. Again, together, over, slide to the ends. Once you do that in a more continuous fashion, it's gonna get nice and smooth and comfortable. You're actually trying to get to the ends of the Joes to feel the end of the Joe and get used to your Joe and where the ends are. If you do this, that's okay, that's a good thing. I'd rather you go for the ends and miss than stay in the middle here and never venture out to the end. So go all the way to the ends, feel the Joe, and spin it, or I should say, turn it over a few times until you feel like you've got a feel for your Joe. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up our wrists a little bit. So let's put the Joe behind our back, grab the ends if we can, then we're going to get it over our head in this position and I'm gonna bring it towards me. That's gonna give me a good stretch in my wrist, help warm up and loosen up my wrist joints. So I'm gonna hold that for a minute or so, a few seconds, not a minute, and then we can go to the next one. The next one, you're gonna grab the Joe from the top and you're gonna lean back a bit. And again, this is a similar stretch 
but you might just feel it in a slightly different way. Then switch to the other side. Make sure there's some wood sticking up. If there isn't, it won't really work. You need a little bit of wood and hold it. Get yourself in a nice hand knee stance because you're warming up your legs as well, softening up your knees. All right, this one's a little trickier. You're gonna grab it thumb up. You're gonna grab the bottom of the Joe. You're gonna bring it over to this side of the arm so that this is sticking down. And you're gonna lean a little bit and stretch. If you wanna go deeper, that's okay too. You can do that a couple times if you want. Switch to the other side. Again, thumb up side, grab the bottom, bring it over so that this is actually below you. And again, stretch. You're gonna pull on this bottom end to really give a stretch in your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist a little bit. Now, we're ready to go. Today, we're just gonna work on a couple things in this first episode, now that we've gone over a few basics. The first thing we're gonna do is spinning. This is a great thing to do on your own. It's fun, and as you get into it, there's a few little tricks and techniques that you can pick up on and add that can just make it fun. So the first thing you need to do is you need to hold the Joe thumb side up. I'm gonna be always focusing on the tip related to the thumb, not the bottom side, but the top side. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get myself in a nice hanmi stance. Obviously, you don't want to be spinning the Joe if you're standing in a horse stance, you wanna be in a hanmi stance to keep safe. I'm gonna take the tip of the Joe, I've got it in the right hand, I'm gonna draw a circle downward to my left side. Then as it comes back, I'm gonna draw a circle downward to my right side. And when you start out, slow's good. And you know, you're gonna feel like your arms are waving around a lot. That's okay in the beginning, don't worry about it. Just do that. And then as you get the hang of it, then you're gonna start turning with your hips. And one of the ways you can find out that you're turning with your hips is by bracing your elbow against your body like this. And that's a good way when you're starting out just to see if you're actually moving from the hips versus your hips not moving and a lot of this. And you want to avoid that. So again, hips. And if you're not bracing, make sure you have your arm behind your back. Uh, it's quite easy if you're not careful to hit yourself. Let's switch to the other side. Left side, thumb up end of the Joe related to the thumb this is what I'm looking at so now I'm in my left Hanmi stance Hidari Hanmi and I'm looking at the top end and I'm gonna go circle to my right side circle to my left side and as I speed it up I start a little faster and work on the hips again if you're not sure if you're moving from the hips brace your arm and your elbow, and then you won't need to do that anymore, and you can move it around. We're gonna try one more thing today. Don't wanna to do too much the first day with the spinning. We're gonna do a basic switch. The easiest way to switch is just to find your hand and switch that way. We're gonna learn some fancier switches later, but for now, you're just going to spin Get yourself in a good rhythm. Don't go too fast to start. Then find your own hand as it's spinning without interrupting the spinning. Then switch your hanmi to the other side. Let go of the original hand and now you're on the other side. It's that easy. With a little practice, it won't be a problem at all. So now I'm gonna switch back. So yeah, I'm gonna find my hand. I'm gonna switch my feet without interrupting the flow. I'll let go of that original hand and now I'm back on the right side. So as you get better at this, you can spin it a little faster and it becomes a little bit more continuous. Okay, but don't worry about speed, that will come. And there you go. Let's do a couple strikes, basic strikes in Aikido and then we'll leave it at that for today. <clears throat> First strike we're gonna do is chokuski. 
this one is, looks just like it sounds. I'm gonna actually grab the Joe from below, like I'm choking the, the Joe, and I'm gonna draw my bottom hand back to my hip. I'm gonna pull it back, and then I'm gonna push it through while turning my wrist over. And this one, it's almost like I'm trying to punch myself in the armpit, right? I'm turning this one and I'm turning that one. So watch it again. Chokutski. Here we go. And turn everything over. When you go a little bit faster. And down each time. Grab, draw it back, push it through put it back down. Each, ni, san, shi. So you can do a four count for that. One more time. Each, ni, san, shi. Make sure you do both sides. I'm only going to show one side for, uh, for the sake of keeping things short for you today. Next one is kaishi ski. This one I'm going to grab from above with the thumb down. I'm grabbing the top. The last one I grabbed below. This one I'm going to grab on top. I'm going to draw it back and send it out. Notice how my front hand, instead of being this way before with choku ski, with kaishi ski, I end up with the hand on top. It looks a little different, but keep in mind this still has to be able to go through smoothly so you don't want to grab it hard because then the Joe doesn't want to move through freely. So grab above, draw it back, send it out, put it back down. All right, so let's count together. Each, ni, san, shi. Each, ni, san, shi. Okay, I hope you had fun with this today. We're gonna to leave it there. I wanted to say thank you for checking in and tuning in today. Please stay tuned for more videos that are to follow. And uh, if you have any comments or any requests, we'd love to hear them. Just make some comments below. If you have some requests, same thing. Appreciate you coming out today. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care of yourselves.